Hi everybody, this is Miss Kim. Welcome to day two of my drawing challenge. All right, we are gonna start with the number two. Here we go, I wonder what we're gonna turn it into today. All right, let's go to the very top of the two and we're gonna make a curve line in. And then let's go to the end of the two and we're gonna do a curved line up like that. Now watch this. We're gonna slide our line around and curve up. Any guesses so far? Hmm, what is this starting to look like? I bet you've got an idea. How about this? A bird. There he is. Let's add some toes to my bird feet. And then let's see. Hmm. I think I'm going to use orange for his beak, so I'm going to trace my shape. And then I'm just going to color inside my space. And then I'm also going to add orange to his legs. Feel free to use any color that you would like to make your bird today. You can also change out the eyes. I made my bird sleeping, but if you want to make your bird awake or surprised or excited, feel free. All right, I'm going to trace my shape like I did yesterday. Looks like my pink is running into the black a little bit. Notice that I'll do all the little lines first and then I'll connect the bigger lines in one motion. Like that. And then here we go. Now we're going to color in the space. I'm going to start going across the shape and then I'm going to change the position of my hand. looking at my shape and staying inside my target. Looks like Miss Kim is in need of some new markers. Fortunately, I left mine at school. So my kids are letting me borrow theirs. All right, so once my bird is colored in, feel free to add some details to the background. We talked a little bit about this yesterday. I think for this drawing, I'm going to add long green lines down. So it looks like my bird is standing in some tall grass. Just like that. All right, friends, stay tuned for our drawing challenge tomorrow and feel free to post yours because I'd love to see what you're doing at home. All right, take care. Bye.